So today for our experiment, we are going to demonstrate how to make a fireproof balloon. So what we will need for this experiment is we'll need two different balloons, some water, and a heat source. So either a lighter or um, matches. All right, so for the first part of it, we're gonna take one of our balloons and we will fill it up with just air, just blow it up. So. Okay, so once we have it blown up, we will tie it off. So here's our blown up blue. Now what we will do is take our lighter, light the flame, and we're going to bring the balloon kind of closer and closer to the flame. So as we bring it closer and closer. So, for our next one, we will take the other balloon. And so, for this one, what we want to do, we want to put a little bit of water in it. So, you can either kind of take your balloon and put it around the spout of your sink and fill it up. Or, if you have a funnel, you can use a funnel and just pour it in. So... We'll pour a little of the water into the balloon. Okay. So once we have the water in, now we're gonna kind of continue to blow it up and add some air to it. tie it off. <coughs> so, okay. So the water is at the, the bottom of the balloon. You can kind of see the water line down there. And then we're going to do the same thing. Take our flame And put the flame kind of directly towards the water end of the balloon. So bring the balloon closer and closer. And so as the balloon or as the flame touched the water, it didn't pop, but once it got more towards the air part, then it pops. So the reason behind all this, so in the first part of it, we saw the, the balloon that was just filled with air. It popped relatively quickly, more so when um, it wasn't even touching the balloon when it popped. So the reason the balloon with just the air pops quicker when it's exposed to the flame and its heat is because the air inside, which is a gas, is a poor conductor. So the air doesn't absorb the heat from the flame that well. And 
In this example, the heat is transferred to the gas, which is the air inside the balloon, and it transfers it rather slowly. So this results in the latex of the balloon that's uh, kind of closest to the flame that becomes a hot spot. And so this hot spot is what is absorbing all the heat to the point where it's causing the latex to stretch and get thinner and weaker. And eventually it'll break down the structure of the latex and the balloon pops. So the reason that the balloon filled with water didn't pop right away, um, I was able to touch the flame to the water portion of the balloon and then <clears throat> it popped as the flame hit the air portion of it. Um, this is because water, which is a liquid, is a much better conductor of heat. So it can absorb the heat quickly to pull it away from the balloon. The water molecules um, that are at the bottom closest to the flame will absorb the heat and then they kind of rise upwards from the heat source. As the uh, heated water rises, the cooler water will kind of fill in to that hot spot, kind of cooling the latex of that portion. So this will prevent the balloon from getting too warm here and popping. Um, the water molecules that absorb the heat and kind of rose to the top, they will eventually start to uh, cool off once they're away from the heat source and once they cool off they will eventually drop back down so it kind of creates this cycle so the water at the nearest to the flame will heat up and it rises once it absorbs the heat cools off and then the cool water will cool off the latex and prevent it from popping so that is how we get our waterproof or uh, fireproof balloons